what's up everybody skull crusher here boomer so we are coming right back at you with another boom beach video and i'm very very happy to also announce that in today's video guys we will be covering five different layouts for six er gameplay that's right guys we are finally getting to the six er layouts here and we've got five of them in today's video as well and the reason why we're starting off in today's video in the tech tree is because i realized that the last layout that we have in today's video is what i currently still have on my warship so we will dive on in guys and i'm very very happy to go through these worship layouts uh, with you. Uh, we've got awesome, awesome layout creators in the likes of Amy Chan, Pete Minstrel. Uh, we will be featuring uh, your worship layouts. Uh, and currently, the worship layout that I am still rocking is uh, because of Amy Chan. So guys, let's do this. The very first layout that we will be covering today will be, drum roll please the sugar pot now check this out guys first off i do want to sincerely apologize due to not having the screenshots in grid formation <clears throat> not like we covered in five er layouts unfortunately i got halfway through and realized that uh we were screenshotting not in grid formation so not the same from the previous video we did for six different layouts for five er gameplay uh but going back into the sugar pot here guys a fantastic fantastic warship layout now this layout will also work wonders for you with regards to slowing your opponent opponents down to two minutes or less and that's what i like about this layout is generally it will be around that two minute or more mark that it will take the opponent to finish this layout now whether if they're going in with rifle gramps heavy zooka Heavy Rifle Gramps, of course, Kavan with Second Wind. This Worship layout will defend from all angles, specifically due to the layout of the Rocket Launchers, of the Prototypes, of the Shock Launchers. If you pay attention to the top left, you'll see that one Shock Blaster tucked away, that top left ER. If you pay attention to the middle of the layout, you'll notice the Doom Cannon. And we have got a nice even spread of four rocket launchers on an arced formation there, literally covering multiple, multiple directions here. Having the Shock Launchers on both ends as well does also benefit getting the troops caught not necessarily in a shock trap but you've also got the support from the rocket launchers and of course the shock blaster as well you will generally see your opponent either drop on the left tier and i mean full deployment left tier heavy zooka rifle gramps uh, sometimes you might get that oddball player that will go full deployment on the right tier essentially going after that top right er first and then pushing in from there uh they've got to be very cautious of going that way keep in mind that we've got a nasty assortment of mines spaced out everywhere along that top right and then of course with the rocket launchers and with the concentrated cluster of the defenses up front as well this is a scary layout to go up against also notice the formation of the ERs we've got two ERs to the top left we've got two ERs to the bottom right one er in the middle and the last er directly at the top right once again guys i highly recommend going with the sugar pot big shout out to amy chan she is the creator behind the sugar pot and i know there are many many warshippers out there that are rocking this layout well all right boomers we're gonna make our way to the second layout now for six er layouts and that is going to be the trailer park now once again i want to give a big big shout out to my boy pete minstrel because the trailer park is the layout that i was rocking prior to the sugar pot now this is still a great layout i want you to pay attention to the formation of the engine rooms here how uh, we've got those three er's 
tucked away along that left wall, two ERs tucked away at the bottom right wall, and then of course one more ER tucked away at that top right. We've also got those rocket launchers supporting on the left side there, and that's a great, great placement for the rocket launchers, where essentially you want to keep rocket launchers on one side. You can see the fourth rocket launcher is tucked away a little bit more further up at top, but then we've got both shock launchers on the left side there, absolutely, sorry, both rocket launchers on the right side there, giving adequate coverage. They're not able to be shocked in one go, giving us that much more of a chance to trap our opponent in a shock trap, which is when essentially you have both shock launchers firing at different rates, trapping your opponent literally renderless they're unable to move it's it's an awesome sight when you're the one doing the shock trap it's absolutely awful when you yourself are stuck in the shock trap notice the prototypes how we've got the doom cannon and the shock blaster directly in the middle there that gives it fair coverage on both left right side and even a little bit up top right as well Big shout out to Pete Minstrel once again. He is the creator here of the trailer park. Now this base does work wonders defending against Rifle Gramps, against Heavy Zooka, against Heavy Rifle Gramps. Of course, that is what you are going to see. Uh, for you players that are a little bit more higher up in tech, I know that Grenadiers have been making a statement, have been making themselves known on the seas. I have not tested the trailer park against Grens. Uh, but I'm sure it would fare very well. Once again, guys, big shout out to Pete Minstrel and the Trailer Park. Guys, we're going to move forward here with layout number three, and that is going to be the Snake Base. Now, this is a very, very common layout that you will see with 6 ER gameplay. And this has to do with the fact that you are going to have the majority of your defenses concentrated in a snake-like pattern moving across the center of your warship layout from the left tier all the way to the right tier also with having an engine room placed at the top left an engine room placed at the bottom right with two more engine rooms placed at the top right as well notice things like the prototypes we've got that shock blaster tucked away at the top left engine room we've got that doom cannon tucked away at that bottom right engine room notice that nasty nasty back line of mines that is an awesome defense right there having all your defenses clustered like that separating the prototypes individually defending an engine room gives you that purpose to space out your mines in such a way where you will literally utilize 99% of them in that back row formation, having a back line of mines, an even distribution of regular, boom, and shock mines will leave a nasty, nasty surprise for your opponent. Keep in mind that you will also see drops coming from the right and left tier on snake bases. When I myself go up against the snake base, I generally will go for a split drop where I'll go one landing craft rifle, one landing craft gramps on the far left tier, one landing craft rifle, one landing craft gramps on the far right side of the left tier, one more boat of gramps directly in the middle. At this point, we generally would bart out a shock blaster. We go back to the right tier, far right side. One, uh, sorry, one landing craft rifleman, two landing crafts of gramps. We go back to the left tier, drop Kavon, spam that second win, and GBE management like a boss. Keep in mind that the power of critters does work wonders on the snake base. With max critters, you can easily drop them on a shock blaster, on the doom cannon, and they will be able to to take it out maybe not necessarily in one go follow up with a couple artillery and you will have that prototype taken out of the fight the snake base guys definitely has its pros definitely has its cons definitely one of the weaker uh, layouts when it comes to the power of critters but guys still an awesome and feared six er layout none the less Moving into layout number five, guys, we have got the utterly disgusting, filthy, compact base layout. Now, keep in mind, boomers, that this layout will work best 
with the benefit of defensive building damage and building health. You need that DBD and BH to support that compact base. The whole point and purpose of the compact base is you will have all six of your ERs, all of your defenses, that's prototypes, rocket launchers, shock launchers, you name it, tightly, <clears throat> tightly grouped along the left side of the warship layout, guys. You will have, generally, rocket launchers and a prototype tucked away right up against that left wall with the other rocket launchers, shock launcher, and prototype thrown in there evenly mixed. Now, we've got splash damage. We've got single fire. We've got everything firing in all directions and multiple, multiple defenses firing at once. Keep in mind, when you support this with defensive building damage, it is absolutely nasty to go up against. Now, this is one of those layouts that I do fear, that I did fear, but then going back and utilizing the new troop deployment strategy, I found myself successful going up against the compact base layouts. Guys, they are out there, and they are out there in numbers. If you yourself do not have troop damage, it just makes it that much more difficult for yourself going up against the compact base. The best way to attack the compact base is for that far right tier drop. I just uh, uploaded a video yesterday, uh, the new troop deployment strategy with regards to the 4-4 rifle gramps, first covered in Shishka Bobbers, or sorry, Op Destroys and Shishka Bobber stream from a couple days ago. Nonetheless, guys, there is an effective way to take out this layout, and honestly, it works, guys. I have tried it. Moving forward from the compact base, guys, we're going to round things out with layout number five here for five different layouts for six ER gameplay, and that is just a minor adjustment to the compact, and that will be the compact spread base. Generally, everything will be the same on the compact spread base, minus the ER you will have placed at the top right, and the ER you will have placed at the bottom right as well. Your remainder four ERs will be tucked away along the far left side, surrounded by that insane, concentrated fire of defenses. Single shot splash damage you name it we've got an even distribution of mines as well heavily focusing at the mid top right there with the shock mines wanting to catch my opponent as he's transitioning from that top right engine room moving in to the compact part of the layout so if you do have shock mines i highly Highly recommend that you evenly distribute them along that mid top right of the layout with the compact base and even the compact spread base. Notice that we've got a prototype at the bottom right ER, in this case a Dune Cannon, adding that additional support. We've also got those three boom mines generally spaced anywhere from about 12 to 14 tiles away from that back right ER. You want them to be in range and be able to catch those Bombadiddles, those Gramps off guard for those Rifle Gramps players. Well, guys, there you have it. We just went through five different layouts for six ER gameplay. We're going to go right back to the top here and go through them one more time, guys. Number one, the Sugar Pot. Number two, the Trailer Park. Number three, the Snake Base. Number four, the Compact Base. And rounding up, number five, the Compact Spread Base. And there you have it, guys. Five different six ER layouts for six ER gameplay. Boomers, let me know in the comments what you thought of today's layouts. Let me know if there's any layouts that I missed. Let me know if there are any particular layouts that you favor or that you think definitely is the best. Once again, for all you newer viewers out there, do not forget to leave a thumbs up and comment on the video. Do not forget to crush that subscribe button, ring that bell, stay notified for when I go live and upload awesome Boom Beach content.
content. Well, all right, boomers. I think it's time not to make like a cruise, but time to make like a Tom and cruise. Have a wonderful day, boomers. We'll catch you guys later. Peace!